Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. It is a wine glass or a wine bottle or wine glass holder. He sent me three dimensions that really helped quite a bit. The whole thing is 15.25. And for the one I'm doing it for, I made your page bigger. I'm going to make an ellipse 15.25 and hit P. And I've changed your drawing to draw in a hairline, and I should have changed it to red. Now, he also told me that there's a 1.55 circle here. So we're going to make this 1.55. Now, we need to know how far it is off this. And I'm going to, so this is a file, and I could, you could trace it or just use it as a file, but I'm going to act like I don't have it in a file. I've only got it on a sheet of paper that has measurements. Now I need to know the distance between there and there. Now for the one I'm doing it for, I drew a line with the two point line, two, three point curve line from there to there and just make that little bit of a curve. You could actually bring that circle back in because I might be a little bit high there, but for the video, that's good. And now I'm gonna measure with the parallel dimension tool from the top of this circle, you know what? I'm not quite at the top. There we go. From the top of this circle to the top of that line is 0.33. So just remember that. Take my circle and hit P. Select with the shift key the other little circle and hit T. Change your nudge factor to 0.33. Move it down. I just nudged it down. Also, there is a semicircle right here. I'm going to make a circle that is 0.5. I'm going to set it in here. And look at that. Pretty close. I don't care. Um, you know, you could move it around, but you could. it's dead on. So now I'm going to just, to move it over there, I'm just going to hit P. Doesn't really matter because I'm going to move it by hand. And I'm going to kind of draw this thing maybe backwards than a lot of people would think you would. I'm going to start on this side. And I'm going to I'm going to change my nudge factor back to 0 0.001 because I want a minute little movement. I want to select on that. And I want this, and that's why I'm working hairline. You couldn't do this with thicker lines. You couldn't tell if you were on the money, and I'm not. So I need to go down a little bit. You want to be at least on the money. And see, we, so we need to go actually go to the right a little bit to get that thing squeezed in there while still not. Boy, 0.01 is a little bit of a movement, but it's, you know, what we could do is hold down the control button and have it move less when you nudged. So I think we're good. We're a little bit over, but for the video, and really and the measurement's going to be pretty perfect. Now what I want to do is take a, one of these, and I'm going to control G to group it. And I'm going to mirror it. I didn't make a duplicate. Now, it's not going to mirror perfect. Control D to duplicate it and then mirror it. But I can, remember, I can nudge so, so smallly, so small, smallly, not such a word, that I can get that right on top of there. Okay? Now, what I want to do is take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line and delete that. So I must, a lot of times you're going to get that. And you know what we could do? Let's just delete that. Now we have that one piece, control D. See what happens when we mirror that. That's pretty good. That's, that's perfect. I wish I would have thought of that to be written with. Now I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete this. So really, 
instead of trying to draw the inside, I'm basically drawing the outside in a way. Now, it's real important that you set your nudge distance, or not your nudge distance, that that's in the center. Then we're going to open up windows, dockers, transformer, transformation. Put your angle at 36 degrees. We already we need 10. We already got one, so it's 9. Okay, I must not have gotten it all. I didn't group both sides. Look at that, folks. <clears throat> so really, I looked like I was drawing the inside, and I was drawing the outside. Oh, either um, I'm off a little bit, because some of them leak. Let's try that again. You know what we could do? Whoa. What we could do, and this isn't going to hurt. Let me go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to take the circle and take away one, so I'll make it 112. Um, now let's see. I took off one one hundredth of an inch. That's all it took. My thing is still pretty close. And see a lot of the measurement uh, because Corel's not measuring that hole. So if you wanted to make it, uh, this is the measurement you need to change when change is 15.25. And that is the measurement. We didn't change the hole size. The, the, uh, the wine glasses are still going to fit in there. Now we can take this and hit P. The only thing he's got in here now is uh, two crosses. And, you know, let's say so I was fixed to act like we had it. But if we have this on paper, they're 7.12 long. 7.12 long. Well, how thick? So this is something you could measure on paper if you were doing off a drawing. Quarter inch. Okay, take a rectangle with an unlock your ratio. I think it was 7.12 by 0.25. Hit P, put it in the center page. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate at 90 degrees. Grab both those and weld them. Take away the indexing lines. There's that file. <clears throat> I almost guarantee it's, whoop, it's dead on perfect. Control G to group that and hit P. Look at that, folks. Eh, I'm a little bit off. So, you know, these are things, I'm just, I'm not drawing it for him. I'm just giving him an idea on how to draw it. Uh, that opening was probably 0 0.79. Pretty little dimension tool. And that all depends on where you really measure. Whoa, we're quite a bit off. And see, he's not, he didn't measure from the smallest point. He measured from like right here. Uh, so if we measure from, I'm measuring maybe, hopefully, from this smallest point. Let's measure from, you know, that's why you need to be careful when you're measuring. Because if you measure from up here, I'm at 0.77. You know, that's what it kind of looks like. But that can be adjusted, you know. Let's, well, let's measure his drawing. From the narrowest point, which I think is right there. Well, we got 0.78. So my drawing is a little bit off. But I was just giving him the idea on this. And I could, I should have measured that before I rotated it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.